Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White, and today, of course, we're going to be playing a little bit more of Final Fantasy VII Remake. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to be awesome. Do you know what's coming next? Because I do. Enjoy. Okay. Ooh, a blue materia. All right. Okay, so that's Stupid the ladder. ladder always out of reach. Stupid ladders on. indeed. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? Aerith gets me. She knows the ladders are stupid. Okay, uh, now the puzzle increases in difficulty. We have switch arms. Only load within the yellow lines. Don't switch arms when the current arm is carrying a load. Okay. So here's what we've got right now. We need to get over here. Oh, there's a box though. Okay. We need to grab box. It's this way. I understand, but I need to get you to that materia, Aerith. And that's the priority right now. So we're gonna rotate this box all the way around to this materia area. And we're gonna do it right and not wrong. Yeah, there we go. All right, nailed it. I like that there's kind of a wide area you can generally drop it in and that suffices because otherwise it would have been a little too difficult you know okay so now let's pick up Aerith and let's get our materia get on <sighs> hold on because goodness knows there's no safety belts. But maybe there should be. Maybe there should be. All right, and then we're just gonna drop you up right here. Pick up that materia, please. And then I'll get you to your final destination. Take. Magnify! Gotcha. What does that do, I wonder? <laughs> Aerith, you're so cute. So what we're gonna need is probably to reset, get Aerith back to where she was so that then we can move the container so that then we can move Aerith. Seems like that might be necessary here. And it also seems like this happens very slowly. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna go the back, all the way back to this container. We're gonna pick it up. Crap! Firmly grasp it! Set it down. Now the question is... We want to get Aerith to that platform to drop the ladder. I'm guessing here's where we change arms. Oh, that arm's resetting. Actually, might not be a bad thing. All right, so we're gonna lower this arm. Oh no, I see a problem. We can only drop this container right here. And we need to clear it from there. So perhaps, actually, what we wanted was to keep this 
back where it was. If we move that over there, both these boxes will be clear. Then we can move that box down, set Aerith The question is, can you set Aerith on a container? I don't think we've... Well, we set her on this one, technically, but I don't think we can pick her up from a container right now. So let's say we leave you there. Let's say we move you yonder direction. Let's say, for example, we move, okay. We don't need to shake it like it's a shake weight now. Come on. This is a family friendly stream. Set you down. Set you down. Set you down. Try stacking the containers. So as it turns out, you can drop Aerith onto a container. This is very slow and annoying. <clears throat> Had I known that you couldn't set the other container in this middle square, I would have been able to figure it out. Set it down. Does everyone else agree this is one of the most frustrating points in the game so far? Okay. Now you're gonna go back to your business and you're gonna go back to this business. I know! I know to stack the containers now that you've told me! Game... I think it's only really annoying because it's just so slow. I don't have a problem with the puzzle aspect of it or even the way that the mechanics actually go together. I think it's just so slow that it just makes you want to... firmly grasp it shake it, and throw it. Anyways. Uh, this yes, thank you, dearest. Thank you. Okay. So now, we shall get Aerith onto this hand. Then, we shall place her on this container. Then, we'll place her on the platform. It'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna come on over here, come on down here, and we're gonna crush Aerith. think she would scream <laughs> I, I thought it was not real <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> and then the puzzle is solved I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec and she's gonna drop the ladder. so cute. Sorry I crushed you. 
working together again. Okay, so... I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't just try to crush her. All right, so... That's not a take. What are the good takes around here, eh? Anything good? And then this song just comes in again. It's so good. All right, is this the moment? That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> ah, it's not the moment. Wait a minute, did you just? Nope. <laughs> Third time Don't is worry. not a we'll charm. Next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> He's so awkward. And then he just got so defensive because he got crushed. Oh, man. I love it. At this point, he's like, never gonna high five anyone ever. Ever. I love it. I wish Aerith didn't apologize because, come on, it's Cloud's fault. <laughs> but now, the question remains, is there gonna be another hand puzzle then you gotta pay the toll. Your territory, eh? You. Time to burn, though. Hold on! Did you see that? I picked the centered bandit so that the fire would splash damage on all of them, and that bandit just came right up to my face to face tank that Fira. Come on! Rude! I'll take care of them. Okay. Get him! Sorry, but I gotta. Sorry, but I gotta is right. How dare you! Are you running away? We made it. Smell the fresh air? He ran away. How dare he? He stole from me? He what? Well, I mean, I still have enough money, so I'm not mad about it. But still, unprincipled. He stole from me and then ran like a coward. Cloud, up top. <gasps> this is our moment. Oh, don't leave me hanging. I won't. But are you going to say anything else? Give me some skin. Such a weird phrase. Anything else? Slowly losing circulation and arm. All right, I don't want her to accidentally like drop it, so I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. <sighs> <laughs> the most right. glorious of high fives. The most glorious. <sighs> I love it. I will say, during recording, that was one of my most anticipated moments for you all to see, for me to share with you all, was the high fives. Every time that I recorded a high five line, I just got all giddy inside and I was like, they're gonna love this, because I love it. <laughs> oh, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. Oh, wow. 
Oh. <laughs> wow. All right. So I think here we're going to save the game. And based on the music, I sense a change in tone. So we're going to embrace that change in tone a little bit. And we're gonna move forward to a very interesting looking playground. All right, there it is, the gate to sector seven. Looks shut, how do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No, I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> She's not having it with him. Come on. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Uh, are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Oh. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. I've been so excited to share that scene with you all. <laughs> and that line that she says when he has his, you know, thing. We did record that line. But you're not getting anything out of me. Mm, so we have to explore this little playground. And this is a little inlet to a dead end. And we got a bottle of ether, which is good because those are expensive and we need it. What is this? A little shed? And what is this? A little tire toy? Are we gonna actually go on it? <gasps> we are! Okay. <laughs> what? What was the point of that? Oh, we're going back!
Oh, we can actually push them out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Oh! Oh my goodness, no way! Oh my gosh, how cute! Look at Cloud! Just playing in the park! And may I just say, the the sort of altered Aerith's theme here is so emotional. It's so beautiful. Here. Mm -hmm. This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. I'll go with you. Oh, you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> that moment where he's like, I don't think I'll ever understand her. I love that. <clears throat> Okay, another little behind the scenes tidbit. Imagine, imagine you're a new voice actor. You've never really done any voice acting. You don't have a ton of experience. And you're recording what you're told is the sounds of you crawling through a tiny child's play toy passageway lifting a manhole cover and you have to make the sounds accurately of lifting it or trying to lift it then lifting it then pushing it to the side and then setting it down just imagine you're being told to make those specific sounds in that specific order just imagine what that might feel like and whether or not that would be easy or difficult and how many different ways you had to try it <clears throat> just imagine <laughs> okay <clears throat> so we're about to head through the tunnel and I just, I just want to reiterate this little moment, this little tiny moment that is so beautiful because even if I wasn't in the game, I would, I would talk about this moment. You have Cloud who crashes through the roof of Aerith's church and Aerith immediately gets attacked and she enlists Cloud as her bodyguard. Please help me get home. Cloud's like, uh, okay, whatever. So then Cloud escorts Aerith home. The second she walks in the door, she goes, So Cloud, where are you going next? He says, Sector 7. And she says, Oh, well, you'll need a bodyguard. You'll need an escort. I'll take you. So then she escorts him to Sector 7. Then when they get to the passageway, Cloud says, Will you be okay getting home? And Aerith's like, I'll be fine. And Cloud goes, I'll escort you. So there is a part of both of them that just wants to continue escorting the other back and forth <laughs> between Aerith's house and all the different slums. <laughs> 
And it's because of the connection they have. They feel something there. And I think that's beautiful. We've all had that moment where we connect with someone on a level that we just don't want to be apart from them. We just don't want to leave their party. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I love it. So I just had to take a moment to talk about that. <clears throat> While this beautiful music was playing, of course. Okay. What's gonna happen next? Oh wait, I already know. Guess this is it then. Ready? Head to the Sector 7 slums? Let's go! Yeah. Oh, I should have said no for the dialogue option though. Ah, next time. I always forget, I get so immersed in the game. There's always a second yeah. playthrough. Tifa? And who is that? <laughs> You're alive! I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? It's true. She can. I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! The classic dress! We chose right! Thanks, chat. <clears throat> oh no you don't. You're going after her. And of course, Aerith girl. is the one she who's like... The likes of him. And worse. Here's what we're doing. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. And Aerith Come joined on, the party. We gotta hurry! Because she just can't leave. So she's on an adventure with us, again. You know what? We're just gonna watch it. We're just gonna watch it all again. Okay. Guess this is it then. Ready? Not yet. No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we went back to listen to that. Right there, unfortunately, is where we have to end today's episode. I'm sure you were enjoying it. I'm sure you want more, but you know, you could tell me anyway. Just leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you all for watching, hanging out with me, spending some time with me today. And thank you to everybody who supports me, whether it be on Patreon, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, I don't know, all the different places that you can support me. Thank you for doing so. Thank you for uh, caring about me in that way. It really means a lot to me. And uh, you guys know how much I care about Strange Rebel Gaming as my passion, as my business. And uh, I just appreciate you continuing to allow it to thrive and grow, especially in these hard times. It just means the world to me. So thank you all. That's all. I love you guys. Bye!